Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this brand new series at the start of this week and it has been incredible so far. I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for getting involved, all the support and I hope you continue to enjoy it for the rest of this week. So the nominations we kicked off with at the start of the week and we've had three episodes so far. If you've missed any of those, would like to check out how things have been going so far. I'll put a card up there for you. You can check those out and then come into today's episode because before we get into anything today we could activate our bonus buttons and we activated the legend maker button yesterday we integrated park here into the team we selected that from the roulette wheel now i considering that we all we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis now i'm not going to sit on these buttons any longer and i'm going to activate the two other buttons that we've got the randomizer button which will take any random Pokemon from our party, replace it with another one. And I'm also going to activate our switch up button as well. So that means I can select a Pokemon from our party and then we can we can replace it with another Pokemon. So I'm going to nominate Houndoom to go out. This is risky. It's a Mega. We might not get another Mega Pokemon back. But I feel like out of everything in the team so far, it's the one thing that I kind of feel like we can get rid of and bring something else in that might be a bit more useful for our team. We'll see what happens. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our switch up. We've taken out Houndoom. I'm sorry. And let's go over to our roulette wheel and see who we're going to select in place of Houndoom. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Man, we've got Arcanine. Okay, we get pretty lucky here. So we get Arcanine. Uh, <laughs> we get rid of one fire dog and get another fire dog, but we do get Intimidate. We'll put them in the team. The Intimidate is going to be so useful though. So that is a really good one. And now the Randomizer, we're going to have to randomly select a Pokemon. So we're going straight over to the Roulette Wheel with our team of five and we will select one random Pokemon to be pulled out and we'll see who that is right now. <laughs> Shuckle, our trick room Pokemon, our trick room Pokemon is gone. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sad about Shuckle gone. You know, we never got to actually get it going this whole week. Maybe someone nominates it in a following week and we can throw it back in and uh, try and get it going again. But unfortunately, Shuckle did make the odd appearance earlier in the week. But again, it was a bit like Houndoom, a bit underwhelming. Um, I am sad to see it go though, but in a plus we do get to randomly select a new one So final roulette wheel spin. We're gonna activate that randomizer button and we're gonna pull in a new Pokemon So let's see who it is My man, Malmar, we get Malmar into the team now. So we're bringing in Arcanine, we're bringing in Malmar, we're getting rid of Houndoom, and we're getting rid of Shuckle. It's a bit sad that we haven't got a Mega Pokemon taking forward, but I think the team overall is a lot more solid. So let's get into it today, guys. Let's see what the team looks like. As always, a team paste, raw paste, poker paste is down in the, the, the comment section below. Check it out. Try it out if you'd like to. But the team looks kind of good. We've got the Mantine, we've got the Superior, we've got the Sogaleo, the Palkia, the Malmar, and the Arcanine. And remember, we've activated all three of our buttons. So tomorrow's episode, we've got no button option. We've got, we've just got take what we get we can still change sets up we can ch still change items up but we'll see how we get on today and hopefully we can finish the week positive we are at a record of two wins three losses at the minute so it's not going so well but i'm feeling confident that we can finish positive for the end of the week so let's hop straight into it Let's get going today. Remember, guys, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. And leave your comments down in the comment section below. And remember as well that I am, I have gotten the works. I have gotten the works. We've got uh, Sword and Shield stuff coming up. We've got the Flinch Squad Circuit stuff coming up. And we've got a few other goodies in the works as well. But we've got a first opponent of the episode, so let's hop straight over into Team Preview. Okay, our first opponent today is running a team of Curum White, Cartana, Tapu Lele, Sableye, Golduck, and Duskmane Necrozma. This is like a roulette dream. This is a, ru a roulette dream team. Okay, so we're going to have some gravity shenanigans going on here. Gravity setters on the team are primarily going to be the Tapu Lele and that Sableye. Squ Quash is going to be something else that we need to watch out for, but 
that psychic terrain is active, then we don't need to worry about that too much. Golduck's there for weather control, getting rid of the weather, um, and uh, the Curan White is going to throw out big blizzards, but we do have wide guard in, in vast amounts throughout the team to help us, and uh, the Dustman Necrozma could probably be uh, Ultra Necrozma. Um, it doesn't look like there's really a trick room mode to the team, so I wouldn't imagine um, that coming out from there. Uh, okay, so let's go Sogaleo. Sogaleo is really good. I feel like Arcanine's pretty good here. My opponent doesn't really have too much ground type uh, damage to throw out at us. So Arcanine, obviously with the Intimidate, going to be very good there. I think... Uh, do we go... Uh, Malmar's not ideal here. If there was Intimidate, obviously Malmar could be really good. I'm going to go with Mantine and I think I'll bring Palkia in the back as well and there we'll, we'll lock it in with. After the changes, after activating the bonus buttons, the team feels a bit more solid. It really does. It does feel a little bit more solid, but I'm still sad that we've lost Houndoom. I'm sad that we've lost Shuckle, but getting Intimidate, getting super lucky with Intimidate, um, I feel pretty good about. And obviously, the Malamar as well is pretty exciting. So hopefully we can get some Malamar action for the rest of the week. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see Sableye and the Dustman and Necrozma come up for my opponent. We've got Fake Out to contend with from that Sableye. Um, but we do get that all-important Intimidate onto the Necrozma here. So that is very good. Got to watch for foul play from that Sableye um, into uh, Sogaleo for sure. That's definitely something we need to watch out for. Um, I feel like bringing Park here in here might be a good idea. Just get around that and there um, we go. Flare Blitz into the Sableye. I feel like you probably fake out the Sogaleo over anything else here. Um, well, I, could be, I could be completely wrong. But Arcanine's way more offensive in this team. I went for a life orb Arcanine just to be a little bit different from the kind of standard what we're seeing. We're going to see the fake out there, so we will get this Flare Blitz off. Could have went for it into the Dusk Main. I was kind of thinking it might evolve into uh, Ultra Necrozma, but man, we take down the Sableye with such ease. Do we see a Trick Room? Are we going to see a Trick Room? Knock off. Okay. Uh, into Parker. We do lose the Berry, which isn't ideal, but we're still sitting in a nice position here. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, because I think... I wonder if the <laughs> Life Orb Blair Blitz will get the... Uh, the Dusk Main, the Curum going to make its appearance onto the field now. It's likely going to outspeed everything, isn't it? Um, I think I need to get some Wide Guard onto the field, so I'm going to bring Mantine onto the field. Um, and I'm just going to protect Arcanine here. And then once we've got, the, once we've got Mantine on the field, we can definitely protect against blizzard spam and obviously scout out some sort of maybe draco meteor into this slot as well that's another option that we we've got to got to consider from kiram kiram just going to protect here um obviously it hasn't got its gravity up so i mean that's that's the one big thing that we've got going for us let's see a photon geyser here from the this main but mantine taken up pretty comfortably um now, whether or not we go for Wide Guard, I'm not really too worried. I think a Tailwind's probably better than anything else. And then we go for that Flare Blitz into the Dustman Necrozma. Hasn't protected so far. It's it's, uh, it's typical that it will protect right now. Um, but I'm going to go for that Flare Blitz. Not too worried as long as we can get our Tailwind up with Mantine. Uh, Curum will be easy enough to deal with with a spatial rend from Parkia. We're going to not see any protect here and uh, oh we're so close to picking up the knockout. Oh but we do activate a weakness policy. <laughs> oh no! It's one of these matches where everything looks like it's going good and it's not going so good. Icy Wind. Arcanine avoids. That's good. Uh, I'm going to see. Yeah. Icy Wind hit the man time. It will reduce the speed by one stage. Uh, oh. Autonomize. <laughs> Oh, it's going to boost his speed by two stages. But it's all right. We're keeping up with it. We're going for the Tailwind. Um, hmm. Okay, I think a Scald. What we could do is just Scald the, the Necrozma. Um, I think the Necrozma protects now. I really do. A Scald should take it down. The Curum has revealed Protect already. I want to kind of keep Arcanine for a close combat into that slot. 
Photon geyser. Ah, it's actually faster than a man time. Hmm. Okay. Because of that icy wind drop, obviously. But we do lose man time, that's fine. And then Earth Power. Yeah, gonna go into that slot. Right, I feel pretty safe now bringing in Palkia. We can go for that spatial rend into the Curum and then the Flebits into the Necrozma. We should be alright. Now, my opponent might try and stall out these Tailwind turns, but. Uh, they've got a they're gonna have to have a double protect on like both Pokemon so spatial rend will be enough to get the Curum um, and the flare blitz will be enough to get the Necrozma so can we tie a uh, a results up like if we win this one we got 3-3 on our score this week which is really good so there's a flare blitz we will lose Arcanine which is which is a little bit sad um, to recoil from the, the life orb Critical hit just to just to make sure that tiny bit of health there. Um, yeah. Oh, we actually survived with Arcanine. Arcanine putting in so much work this episode. Life orb Arcanine, beast. And what's my opponent's last Pokemon? It's gonna be Cartana. Cartana. Okay. <laughs> the one Pokemon I don't mind seeing at all. It could be. It could be Sashed. It could be sashed, um, but we'll go for the flare blitz regardless, because um, we will outspeed it. Uh, Special Ren, like I say, is going to take down the Curum, and then the flare blitz should be enough to get the the Katana. Katana. I don't really. Yeah, there's a flare blitz. Is it sash? Is it sash? If it's sashed, it could be bad. No, it's sashed. Is there a special rend? I'm not gonna. Oh, we get the burn. That's all right. It's all good. It's all fine. Arcanine goes down after taking like a billion chaos. Spatial rend hits. I was gonna say if spatial rend misses, then we get doubled into. Oh, Curum beast! It actually survives. How? Leaf blade, and then what are we gonna see? Z move. Is this tectonic rage. <laughs> no way. What is this team? Are we like bumping into random roulette roulette teams ourselves? Feels like it. Ah, oh, it's down to Sogaleo now. Can Palkia take now? Palkia can't take this. Oh no, it's it's fine. It's actually it's all right. It's really all right because um yeah, Tailwind Pillars out, but the burn. The burn coming in clutch there. The tectonic rage has been used. So Sogaleo. <clears throat> it's whether or not they've got fusion flare. And can we can we take it? I'm not gonna Z splash. I don't feel like we outspeed it. I don't think we got an icy wind onto it. So Ah, but we outspeed. We must have done. Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe it's just bulky, because taking a spatial round is pretty, pretty bulky. Uh, we do get the Sunseal Strike and we pick up a victory in our first one today. So, team doing well. We are three wins, three losses right now. In most circumstances, we'd be a little bit, we wouldn't be so positive about this. But I am really positive about how the team's doing. So we've got potentially three more matches left. We could finish with a 6-3 and three record if we can do this. Which would be which would be pretty good. And what we'll do is each week we'll put onto a leaderboard, and we'll see how we do overall with the the uh, the teams that we have. When we end up this series, we'll continue battling. Of course, we'll look for our next opponent. We need to make sure that we've got our um, our music on. Let's go, Cyrus, because Cyrus we never have. We've got F up from Italy. Piedmont is in Italy, so let's hop over to, to team preview. Okay, so our next opponent playing a pretty solid team of Kyogre, Incineroar, Bronzong, Mega Minetric, uh, or Regular Minetric, uh, Eveltal, and Mega Gengar, or Regular Gengar. Two potential Megas on the team here. You're going to see primarily Speed Control from Eveltal with Tailwind, Bronzong offering the Trick Room option there, uh, Incineroar, Fake Out Support, which we don't have, and does make things a little bit more difficult uh, but the one thing that you can identify straight away is there's no fairy type on my opponent's team so it makes Malmar quite useful here it does such good work against the Incineroar 
great work against the Gengar. It's not bad against the uh, Bronzong either or the Veltal. Um, to watch out for the Kyogre, but we've got enough. We've got quite a lot to deal with the Kyogre. Um, I think what we'll do is... Oh, we need... Weird, like, Arcanine's really good against Eveltal as well. Like, Arcanine isn't bad here. It's just the rain. Um, I'm going to bring Arcanine up top. I'm going to bring Palkia and... Do I bring Sogaleo here? Is Sogaleo going to be that good here? I don't really feel like it is. Maybe Mantine is better. Uh, just for Tailwind later on. Could be really good. And the Wide Gods, particularly useful. Um, let's bring Mantine in. Yeah, let's do this. <sighs> okay. Okay, F. Bring all your best stuff. Let's see how you can do. Let's see Malmar. At least we're getting Malmar. Like, Alcanine did so well in that first game. Can Malmar match that in the second one? Gonna see. Two new members coming out. Malmar's a cool Pokemon as well. We've got Topsy Turvy on it as well. So we could try and see if we can make use of it somehow. Now the Bronzong and the Veltal coming out. It's really pretty good for us to be honest. Because um, we can wild charge this Eveltal and knock off the Bronzong. Which I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm going to just do... Wild charge. Wild charge the Eveltal. Hopefully the Minetric doesn't jump onto the field. But, like, it's not massively common that we'd have wild charge on Arcanine. We get the Intimidate onto both targets. Uh, it's just whether or not we see the Z move on the Eveltal. Um, but life or life or wild charge. I'm going to say it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Um, I'm not really massively concerned outside of the Z move on the Eveltal here. But we're going to see the Bronze Bronzong switch out. We're going to see Kyogre hit the field. Again, it's not the worst. By any stretch of the imagination. Like a knockoff there is not going to do a great amount of damage. But at the same time. We're going to get a wild charge, hopefully, into the Eveltal. Because I can imagine it going for a tailwind here. Uh, there's the Primordial Sea coming out. Um, and we're actually faster than the Eveltal. So if it doesn't go if it doesn't go tailwind here, then we're, we're, in, we're in business. We're in business, boys. So, foul player coming out. Do we take this? I don't know. No, we're not in business. But it does mean that we get Mantine onto the field, which will, will help us out massively. Um... We do get the knockoff into the Kyogre. How do we bring in Palkia now and go Trick Room? Hmm. Although. Huh. I mean, Palkia is really good. Mantine. I'm going to go Palkia. Or do I? Do we go Mantine? Mantine for the Wide God is way more useful, I feel. Because the Kyogre is definitely going to throw out, I think. I don't think the Kyogre has Thunder either, because having Thunder and having Minetric on the same team is a little bit conflicting at times, although you can't really discount it. I'm going to go Superpower into the Veltal, and I'm just going to go for that Wide God now with Mantine. Veltal's probably going to attack into the uh, into the Mantine, I would imagine. So there's a wide guard. Oblivion Wing. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Gets a bit of health back. There's a water spout. Again. Fine. Super power. Super power. Not doing too much damage. I mean, um, not great at all. But I think what we'll do is try and tailwind now with Mantine and see what this Kyogre goes for. <sighs> Today, Ice Beam, double up into the Malmar, maybe. But it's a good time to get our Tailwind up, I feel. Uh, and getting that plus one definitely helps when that Bronzong decides to come back onto the field because it means that we're going to be in a way better position to actually remove it from the field. 
instantly rather than maybe missing a knockout there. So I'll protect Mama. Mama. There's the Oblivion win. Maybe doubling into the Mantine now. Yeah. Getting an, a decent amount of damage. If you see another water spout, that would be ideal because we'll, yeah, we're going to heal back all that damage. Mantine. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good. We get the tailwind up now. Right, we need to make use of these tailwind turns. Um, did we go wide guard again? I feel like we probably do. I'm gonna go super power into the Velto once again and just wide guard because I don't want to get. I don't want like. I don't want Ma Malmar to get taken down by a stray water spout or oblivion. Um, Oh, what, what's it called? The other one. Uh, <laughs> something Pulse. Can't even think. I can't think. You know what I mean. The other double target attack that Kyogre has. Origin Pulse. There we are. So, let's see. The Super should do a bit more now to the Valto. Uh, I don't expect it to pick up the knockout just yet. But one more. The next one probably will. We'll probably see another. Oh, we're gonna see a foul play. How's it going? Yeah. Oof, it still does a decent amount of damage. Hopefully, it doesn't take us down. Oh, it does! That's the worst. That is actually not so great. But. It's kind of. I mean, it's not ideal because now the Bronzong becomes a bit more of a problem to deal with. Um, we're kind of relying on Mantine. To deal with with the bronzer but we can take down the Avelto with a scald now we'll go for a spatial rend into the Kyogre and we'll go for a scald into the Avelto and I think even if it is a salt vest Avelto which it likely is from what we've seen from it so far I'd say scald in the range should still be enough to pick up the knockout there maybe we see Kyogre withdraw maybe maybe it protects here can't really do anything versus both of these Pokemon anyway with the Water Spout and then Ice Beam is its, of its only attack. It's not really threatening anything. Still doing a decent amount of damage. I'm sad that we lost. I'm sad that we've lost Malmo. We didn't even get a, a Berry activated, which is the worst thing. We just like tiny amount out of Berry range as well. So there's the Spatial Ren. Let's see what the damage is like here onto this Kyogre. Hopefully, we might get it in two hits, maybe. There's a Scald. Rain boosted. Oh, we don't get it. Did we get the burn? We don't even get the burn and we get the Snarl. This is going from bad to worse. Crit on the park here. This is, this is, this is terrible. Okay, there's another Ice Beam. Ice Beam doing, like, actually doing decent damage. Uh, we'll go for a Spatial Rend again. Um... I guess how many turns of Tailwind do we got left? One. Let's go for an Icy Wind. That should be enough to get the Eveltal. Has to be. I can't believe the Eveltal actually survived there. Sucker Punch. Okay, we do take it. An Ice Beam will take, take Palkia down though. Yeah, we needed a crit there. We definitely needed a big fat crit. Because we're just going to take another Ice Beam from the Kyogre. And then, then it's Mantine versus the world. And I don't know if we can do it. Just Mantine. Can Mantine do this? Come on, Mantine. Oh, oh we survived with Pocket. Pocket takes it. Okay, we're still in business. We're still in business. Okay, so the Wiki Berry activate until when Pit is out. What's coming in? It's gonna be the Bronzong. But the Kyogre is definitely in spatial rend range now, I feel. So my opponent's gonna go for some sort of, oh, it's gonna be Gengar. Hmm, interesting, interesting. If it's got Perish Song though, we're screwed. Um, okay, spatial rend, and I guess Icy Wind is what we need to go for. I mean, if it's Mantine versus Bronzong, we can totally do this, but I'm not hugely convinced. Like, Palkia will take an attack from the Gengar, so we should be able to pick up the knockout onto the Kyogre. We might be able to do this. I think the survival from the Ice Beam was pretty clutch. Losing Marmar like we did didn't help at all, but we're not, we're not, 
completely lost just yet. Bronzo, I'm going to come in. We're going to see the rain lift from the field. Um, what are we going to see? This game got to do. I wonder if we see a trickery from the Bronzong. That could be something that they do. But Perish Song would end the game right now. So we're just going to see Sludge Bomb into Mantine. We do take that. No poison, which is good. Um, we have a special rend. Special rend. Not doing very much damage there at all. But we do get an icy wind off. But it misses the Gengar. That's the only Pokemon that we wanted it to hit. And we needed it to hit the Gengar. Um, I don't know if my opponent sets up a trick room, to be honest. Unless they switch the Gengar out into Kyogre now. Uh, which they could do. I'm going to Earth Power the Gengar. I don't expect it to pick up the knockout. Um, and I'll just go for a Scald into the Bronzong. It's looking less likely now that we'll be able to, uh, to do this. Unless my opponent does set up Trick Room. And switches in the Kyogre for the Gengar. Nah, no, just Sludge Bomb once again. Okay. Hanging on. Earth Power. I don't know if it's going to be enough. If it is... No, it's nowhere near enough. Scald. If we can get a burn here, that would be super, super useful. No burn. And we're going to see... Z Trick Room, I think. Which puts us in a decent position going into this next turn. But we are kind of... Susceptible now. Oh, Z Hypnosis. Uh, Z Hypnosis. I didn't even. Uh, okay. And we've got no way to protect Mantine either. Um. No, it's not looking too good. <laughs> it really isn't. It really isn't. Mantine Skull's just not doing enough damage at all. Shadow Ball into Palkia. No, into Mantine. And we're definitely guaranteed to turn asleep now. What's this bronze I'm gonna do? Gyro Ball. Just get some damage, I guess. Yeah, put us in range for like a slug bomb. <coughs> or a Shadow Ball. Um If we wake up now, we can take a sludge bomb. Maybe. Nah. We're never gonna... Nah, we just stay asleep. Ah! Oh, so disappointing! We could have won that one, but now we're... Three wins, four losses. We still got a chance to come back and come back positive for the, for the rest of the week in tomorrow's episode. So, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're just gonna have to take our positivity forward. Good game to F. And, um... Damn, damn. I just like... Ah, uh, we... Ah, uh, okay. Right. Let's not get too down about this. We've got one more episode tomorrow with this team, with this build, before we start with a brand new roulette on, on Monday next week. So we're going to finish positive. We're going to have a positive attitude about it. Hopefully we can do it in tomorrow's episode. Make sure you don't miss it. And uh, we've got the team set for tomorrow's episode. We've used all our buttons, so we've got no excuses now. We, we're not going to do any rouletteing. And uh, we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll see if we can finish positive. So we can finish, we can finish five and four. That's the best we can do, and I, I feel like we can do it. Okay, so have a great day, guys. Whatever you're up to, whatever you, you end up doing, make sure you take care of yourselves, and I will see you all for the next one. And so until then, take care and bye bye.